Despite what Byron Saxon said about him in the past, Shelton Benjamin is a true legend, and he's ready for action. The gold standard in WWE. And his opponent from Orangeburg, South Carolina, weighing in at 248 pounds, Shelton Benjamin. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Oh. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. An amateur wrestling standout with almost two decades of in-ring experience. It's going to be tough to stop Shelton Benjamin. And no matter what color his hair is that day, Shelton Benjamin truly is the gold standard. Oh, clothesline! Oh, nasty impact. Wilbarrow suplex. Devastating. What a stomp. Good grief. The best way to describe combatants clashing inside a steel cage is its battle of attrition. Sometimes a superstar is left with no choice but to fight fire with fire and do whatever they need to do in order to win the match. And sometimes it comes down to a superstar doing whatever they need to do in order to survive. You gotta believe this one's over! Byron, you touched on this earlier, but it's so important for a superstar to accept that there's nowhere to run and nowhere to hide in a steel cage match that the conflict will be resolved within the 15-foot high steel walls that surround the ring. And that losing a cage match can mean much more than a mark in the loss column. For some, it has meant the end of their career. It's difficult to describe the damage that can be done to a superstar who competes in a steel cage match. We see the physical harm, but we don't see the psychological effects from being inside the cage. Make no mistake about it, Michael. The steel cage truly represents survival of the fittest. We talk about how important stipulations are in a steel cage match. If superstars sign a contract where the only way to win is escape the cage and have both your feet touch the floor, the competitors must have a plan. Especially since you have to be comfortable trying to escape through the cage door as you do climbing over the top of the cage and vice versa. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh. Beautiful technique. Corey, you touched on something moments ago that's so This might be it! Oh my! But he's got to capitalize now! He's looking at it. That'll hinder your modeling career. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Oh, he got him. Let's look at this again. Senton connects. Look at this. Ooh. Look out. Oh, what impact. Such a tough target. Nailed it. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Harsh impact. He's got hops. Oh my God! Moon salt. Who knows what's gonna happen? This match could go anywhere. There's one. 
Y dos. The fist has been dropped. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. This could end it in a hurt. Power bomb. This one's over, guys. There you go, Cole. Setting up. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Here he goes. Super kick. Warm up the bus. This one is over. Shot. Oh. <laughs> That might have done it, Cole. According to historians, the twisted metal that we see as part of steel cages today dates back 80 years. To settle a dispute between competitors Jack Bloomfield and Count Pietro Rossi, the two met inside a ring surrounded by chicken wire. At first, these types of matches were referred to as fence matches. Oh my goodness, this hurts! Oh! Corey, you gave us an impressive history of the origins of the steel cage match. I'd like to point out to our viewers that from the 1960s to the mid-1980s, chain link fences were used to enclose the ring for WWE steel cage matches. A superstar could win by pinfall, submission, or by exiting the cage through the cage door or climbing over the top of the cage. We should also point out, Michael, that the way to win a steel cage match can vary by match depending on what was agreed to before contracts to compete in the match were signed. Talking about history, at WrestleMania 2, WWE unveiled the redesigned steel cage with solid steel blue bars before returning to chain link mesh in the late 1990s. Oof! What a strike! Right on the mark. You gotta believe this one's over! Beautiful technique. Boom! Oh, oh, oh. oh nasty impact. Ooh, Benjamin just evades that one. This might be it. Oh, my. Nailed it. Given their performances tonight, it's too bad one of these superstars has to walk out of here on the losing end. Barrel suplex. Devastating. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's looking at it. Oh, okay. Man. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. He might have harsh impact. Just when you thought he had nothing left. One more time. Why not? Boy, this has just been pandemonium. Backbreaker! Look at this. Ooh, what impact. These superstars have tried everything. They have something left in their arsenal. They have to, but can they dig down deep enough to find it? The steel cage match is in the books. Here is your winner, Tank. That's an impressive win right there. Wow, he absolutely manhandled him there toward the end. As we close the book on this match, I need to remind everybody just how big of a win this was. Simply amazing.